Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if you're uh, if you're familiar with the BMF case, the Black Mafia family. No. Uh, I mean, there's a, a hit TV show around it now, but I, I know these guys. Well, I mean, I don't know them. I've hung out with them before right. in Atlanta. And it was two guys. It was Big Meech and Southwest T. They were brothers. They headed up essentially at one point in the early 2000s, like the biggest drug operation in America. I mean, with literally sending limos with 100 kilos and you know, of cocaine packed up and, and everything else like that. But the, the interesting thing about this case was that, you know, you had these two brothers. They were both massively wealthy by this point. Big Meech would never talk on the phone. What time you coming? You're going to be here? Bye. But the other guy, Terry, in Meech's own words, was in love with the phone. Oh, he was just blah, 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 blah. At one point, he even threatened to kill his own brother, <laughs> which they found on, you know, by tapping the phone and, you know, talking about drug deals, talking about this, talking about that. So when it ultimately went, you know, when they were about to go to trial, they had just tons and tons of evidence from one of the guys. And they both ended up taking 30-year plea deals in order to get out of it. Southwest T, the one that had been talking on the phone the whole time, is now out because he was he had some health problems and got out during COVID. Mm. Big Meech is still locked up. So, so you see this a lot. Hey, one of the best things my father did for me, when I'll never forget, he brought me into the kitchen when I was young. He took the phone and he goes, this is a cop. Remember this. It's a cop. And he put it back down. And I, I never got caught on tape with anything that ever uh, hurt me, ever. 